Some people are making hundreds of thousands of Robux with AFK games just like this. So I'm gonna be showing you in this video the easiest way to make one with absolutely no scripting involved. The first thing that you need to do is create and publish a place. So go ahead, create a place, go to the home tab, go to game settings and publish or place by giving it a name and a description and then publishing it. After that, what you need to do is get this donation board model that I created and the link will be in the description for that. So make sure you get that. Don't search it because you wanna get the correct one that doesn't have any viruses. This one is safe because I just created it for this video. And after you get the model, go to view, click on toolbox, and then click on the second button right here to get your models. Insert the model like that. And I'm just gonna actually delete this because I already have one obviously for this video. So now that we have this board, you can go ahead and close this. Then the next step is critical. To get this to work, you must like this video. It helps me out a lot, so I'd really appreciate it if you do so. After that, go to home, go to game settings, and you're going to be creating some develop developer products. So go to monetization, scroll down, and here I have a bunch of different products I've created. So you'll need to do this for your game. And I just have uh, some different increments. So I have a donate 5, 10, 50, 100, 25, 500, and 1,000. So just create a bunch of different products that you want to be uh, selling on this board. Name them what you want to show up on the board. So if you want it to say donate 5 right here or donate 5 Robux, make sure the product name says donate 5 and then you set the price correctly. So you can do that by just clicking create. Then you get a, a new developer product right here. Then you click edit rename it and it will say, you know, donate 10,000 Robux right there. We'll make this 10,000 Robux and then I'll save it. And then after that, I actually need to go back here, go to monetization. So I have this donate 10,000 Robux. I'm going to click right here, copy the ID to the clipboard. And then this is what else we need to do. Make sure the explore tab open. Uh, if you don't, just go to view, click explore and properties. Actually, you don't need the properties open, but uh, just go to donate leaderboard, open that up, open the client donate script. This is the only part right here that you need to change. The only part, okay? So make sure in client donate, look for this part, and then you'll actually wanna delete these and change them to your developer product IDs. So for the one that I just created and copied, I'll paste this in there, make sure that there's a comma, after each of these, okay? So delete all of these, and then change them to your developer product IDs that are all listed in the game settings back on the homepage. So I'll open this back up just so I can re-emphasize that. All of these product IDs are associated with the ones I've created. So donate five right here, it's donate five right here. See the, I, the ID is in five six, this is five six. So make sure you put those in here Make them in order just so it's organized. So I have 5, 10, 25, 50, all the way up to 10,000 now that I just added. To make things go faster, you can also just navigate to your game right here. Click on the top right, go to configure this game, and then you can get all of the different developer product ideas like this and copy and paste them. It's just a little bit faster than having to open and close the game settings panel all the time. In addition to that, I just want to re-emphasize that these are all going to be your developer product IDs and also make sure there's a comma after each one other than the last one. Once you create this, you're ready to go. It's all set. And then if you start your game, you should see that they've all uh, shown up right here. You can see donate five at the top and then I just added one, donate 10,000 appears at the bottom. Then if I click it, you'll see the test purchase comes up and I can buy it. It's not gonna do anything though in the game but that just shows you how it works. Also, if you want the leaderboard to work while you're in studio, you have to go to game settings, go to security and enable studio access to API services, but this isn't necessary. Now that you've added your product IDs for the donation leaderboard, you're all set. Just go ahead and add whatever else you want to add for your game. So that could be admin commands, an obby, whatever else you want to add in your AFK game to keep people entertained. Now I have tested this model a decent amount and it's been working great, but if you end up having any issues with the leaderboard, just let me know. There'll be a link in the description to my Discord for help and you can also ask in the comments below. We can help with both setting up the leaderboard if you can't figure it out and also fixing any bugs with it that you may have. Since I do make Roblox scripting tutorials, I will make a tutorial on how I actually wrote the code to make this work, so stick around for that. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if it helped you out, comment any questions below, and subscribe for more in the future.